I'm Dr. Justin High at Riata Equine Hospital here in Weatherford, Texas, and we're going to talk about the importance of the first 24 hours of this foal's life. So the first 24 hours of this foal's life are the most important of all of them. And one of the best ways that mare owners can go about ensuring that is making sure that this mare or your mare foals in a very clean, safe, very low pressure environment where she doesn't have stress from other horses, she doesn't have competition from other mares, and things uh, are best suited for her. Uh, that's going to translate into a much healthier foal as she's, as she's lower stress, she has more time to care for him, things progress easily, and the things that are going to get in the way of establishing his immune system through nursing and uh, her passing her placenta and having a very low stressful environment are dramatically better when we do those things. The next thing we're going to talk about is a timeline that you can think in the first couple of hours of the most important things. What we tell people when mares foal out is it takes about an hour for this foal to stand, it takes about two hours for the foal to nurse, and it should be about three hours before she passes her placenta. Now those things can happen a little bit faster, but those are good timelines to remember. Within that timeline, another thing to think of is this little foal needs to pass his meconium, which is his little fetal poop that he's developed while in utero. And it looks black and tarry, and it's really important for that to come out. And a lot of times you can use enemas to help those things along. But that gives you a good timeline of the first three hours after she foals. So the third thing we want to think about in our first 24 hours of life with this foal is his ability to latch on and nurse very well. The most important thing is for him to absorb her colostrum that really only happens in the first 24 hours. His gut has a special capacity in that first 24 hours to absorb large molecules. And those immunoglobulins that's in her colostrum are large and that's the only way those things are going to get absorbed and be useful to him. So a quick wrap up on the three things that we looked at on this mare's and foal's first 24 hours. The first thing we want to do is provide her with a clean, quiet, safe environment. The least pressure she has, the better off she's going to be. The next thing is once that foal's born, we kind of look at the one, two, three timeline. An hour to stand, two hours to nurse, and three for her to pass the placenta. And then the last thing is the most important really with him latching on and nursing and establishing his immune system through the colostrum that he drinks through the milk. All of these things give you a good idea of what normal is, and the more we know about normal, the easier it is to spot abnormal and find problems that we need to attack.